The Indian Air Force IAF, on December 15 will receive the last of the 36 Rafale fighter jets ordered from Dassault Aviation, France. This will complete all deliveries of the aircraft under the 60,000 crore rupees contract signed in 2016. The last plane will arrive in India around December 15. The aircraft was used to develop India-specific enhancements to the Rafale fleet of the Indian Air Force. A total of 35 Rafale units have arrived in India and are occupying combat squadrons in Imbala, Haryana and in Hashimera, West Bengal. Only one aircraft remains in France for special enhancement development. Apart from delivering aircraft to India, Dassault Aviation is also involved in aircraft maintenance, which is more than 75% available. The IAF has quickly put the Rafale into operation and has fired MBDA Meteor long-range air-to-air missiles as well as SCALP, Storm Shadow, air-to-ground cruise missiles. In addition, the Indian Rafale is also equipped with hammer missiles to carry out precision strikes at closer ranges. The Rafale was one of the six aircraft competing in the Indian MRCA competition for 126 multirole fighters. Originally, the Mirage 2000 had been considered for the competition, but Dassault withdrew it in favor of the Rafale. In February 2011, French Rafales flew demonstrations in India, including air-to-air -air combat against Su-30 MKIs. In April 2011, the Indian Air Force IAF, shortlisted the Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon for the US$10.4 billion United States dollars contract. On 31 January 2012, the IAF announced the Rafale as the preferred bidder. It was proposed that 18 Rafales would be supplied to the IAF by 2015 in flyaway condition while the remaining 108 would be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, in India under transfer of technology agreements. The contract for 126 refails, services, and parts may have been worth up to US$20 billion. United States. The deal stalled due to disagreements over local production, Dassault refused responsibility for the 108 HAL manufactured refails holding reservations over HAL's ability to accommodate the complex manufacturing and technology transfers. Instead, Dassault said it would have to negotiate two separate production contracts by both companies. The Indian Defence Ministry instead wanted Dassault to be solely responsible for the sale and delivery of all 126 aircraft. In May 2013, the Times of India reported that negotiations were back on track, with plans for the first 18 Rafales to be delivered in 2017. In March 2014, the two sides reportedly agreed that the first 18 refails would be delivered to India in flying condition and that the remaining 108 would be 70% built by HAL. By December 2014, India and France reportedly expected to sign a contract by March 2015. In April 2015, during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Paris, India requested the swift delivery of 36 refails in a flyaway condition. Indian Defence Minister Manohar Parikar called for induction within two years. India withdrew the MMRCA tender on 30 July 2015. Then, India and France missed a July target to finalise the 36 aircraft deal. The previously agreed upon terms in April totaled US$8 billion for 36 aircraft costing $200 million each, with an offset requirement of 30% of the deal's value to be reinvested in India's defence sector and infrastructure for refail operations. India insisted on a 50% offset and two bases, which France said would increase costs and require separate infrastructure and two sets of maintenance, training and armament storage facilities. In January 2016, the Indian government directed the Indian Navy to be briefed by Dassault on the navalised refail for its aircraft carriers, promoting logistics and spares commonalities between the Navy and IAF. Dassault CEO Eric Trapier stated that the Indian Navy may order up to 57 refails. On 23 September 2016, Defence Minister Parikar and his French counterpart Jean-Yves Le Drian signed a US$7.8 billion Euros contract for 36 flyaway refails with an option for 18 more at the same inflation-adjusted price. Initial deliveries were expected by 2019, and all 36 within six years. 
The deal included spares and weapons such as meteor missiles. The Indian National Congress raised an issue over Dassault partnering with Anil Ambani's Reliance Defense, now known as Reliance Naval and Engineering Limited, our naval, a private company with no aviation experience, instead of the state-owned HAL. Allegedly, Dassault lacked any choice and was compelled to select Reliance Defense as its partner. Rahul Gandhi alleged that it was favoritism and corruption. Both the French government and Dassault issued a press release stating it was Dassault's decision to choose Reliance Defense. Party spokesperson Manish Tiwari asked for the agreement's details to be made public and questioned if there was an escalation of per aircraft cost from 7.15 billion rupees to 16 billion rupees. In November 2018, Congress alleged that procurement procedures were bypassed. A public interest litigation Hill case was filed in the Supreme Court for an independent probe into the Rafael procurement. On 14 December 2018, the Apex Court dismissed all petitions, stating it found no irregularities. Reliance Defense reportedly was set to receive just over 3% of the 300 billion rupees, equivalent to 340 billion rupees or 4.3 billion United States dollars in 2020 of offsets, contrary to the impression that it was to be the biggest beneficiary of the deal. Around August 2017, India considered ordering 36 more Rafales amid tensions with China. In 2018, the Rafale was reportedly competing against several other aircraft in a new procurement tender for 114 multi-role combat aircraft, which is referred as MMRCA 2.0 in the Indian media. In March 2019, Indian officials asked for Rafales to replace aging MiG-21s and to counter Pakistan's F-16s. Ahead of the first Rafale's formal handover on 8 October 2019, IAF Day, the IAF accepted it at Dassault's Bordeaux facility in an event attended by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and his French counterpart, Florence Parley. It had tail number RB001 to mark IAF Chief Designate Air Chief Marshal RKS Badoria's role in the buy. Rafale deliveries started on 27 July 2020, with the first five Rafales delivered from France. By July 2021, a total of 26 Rafales had been received. Three Rafales were handed to the IAF in France on 25 January 2022 and arrived in India on 15 February 2022. These included Indian-specific enhancements like the long-range Meteor air-to-air -air missile, low-band frequency jammers, advanced communication systems, more capable radio altimeter, radar warning receiver, high-altitude engine start-up, synthetic aperture radar, ground-moving target indicator and tracking, missile approach warning systems and very high-frequency range decoys. Once tested and verified, the remaining 32 Rafales would be retrofitting these enhancements, the IAF having all related equipment. The last Rafale arrived in April 2022. There has also been interest from the IAF and Navy to procure more Rafales.